Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be Trash Talk 2.0. Now, the reason why I'm calling this Trash Talk 2.0 is because I'm in a new space. This basket is full of goodies that I melted in my new space. Now, I've talked before. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. I used to live in a very small studio apartment, and I had huge ceilings, a big stairway that led to the room, and I found that scent got lost in that area. Not only did it get lost, but I would have to use so much wax to get a scent throw, and I could only do like one scent in my main space and one scent in the bathroom. Now I have a two bedroom apartment, so what I've been doing is bathroom melts, kitchen, living room, dining room melts, my candle room, which I'm in now, my candle slash filming room, and bedroom. And it has been an incredible journey, and I'm calling this Trash Talk 2.0 because this is my trash, I want to talk about it, and it's 2.0 because it's new, it's exciting, and I can give you a lot more honest, not that they weren't honest before, I didn't get good performance in my home, but I have closed off rooms, and I have noticed such a difference with the performance of my wax in my new space. Now, in my new space, I have four warmers in the living room so far. I want to have more. I don't have any furniture in my living room yet. I actually have like little tables that I have them all in the corners with warmers next to plugs because I want scent. But I ordered a couch. I ordered the furniture. It's just a matter of it getting it here and scheduling deliveries with work, etc. That it's working. I have one in the dining room and I have one in the kitchen. And then in this room, I have four warmers behind me, one on my desk, and one in the corner here. I don't always have them all with wax. Some of the warmers I don't find perform the best. So I only have, it depends. Like I'll typically do one Scentsy bar in this room divided into a couple different cubes. I'll do two cubes and four warmers. Unless I know the scent's a little bit lighter and I'll do two clams, but it all depends. I'll tell you guys like what I did in the melts. I feel like before I just like rushed through because I always had a lot, but I'm going to try to do these videos a lot more regularly. That way it's more accurate. I can really understand what's performing. And then in my bedroom, I have two warmers. I have one on my dresser next to my TV. It's a hot plate warmer. Actually, if you watch Lexi, Two Quick Wicks, it's the same warmer that she has in the background of her videos. It's like this long oval. I got it at Walmart. It's, I believe, the Sensationals brand. It's incredible. And then I have a Scentsy warmer by my bed, the Acute Copper warmer. And I'll bring a tea light in the warm, in the bedroom. Sometimes if it's a harder wax, that Scentsy warmer don't perform but yeah that's a little bit of a rundown as to the layout of my new apartment and how I'm getting through wax now another thing I am filming this it is June well it's May 31st when I'm filming this but it's going up on Friday it's June happy June and I'm not buying wax for the whole month of June maybe even into July I have so much wax. I've been spending all this time reorganizing. All of this is filled with wax behind me, guys. And I have a loft up here, and it's full of wax. I have so much wax. I will show you. I just want to make sure that it is exactly how I want it displayed and organized. I need to cut it off. The only exception to a haul, well, I have hauls coming, like from Sassy Girl Aroma, etc. Pre-orders, teddy bees. I placed an order with candles from the keeping room. It has already arrived by the time this video goes up. I'll film that and I think it's going to go up on Monday, but when she opens. That is the only thing that I will let myself purchase wax-wise, unless it's something that I absolutely dire need, but I can't see that happening. I have so much wax that I want to test and see how it works in my home first that I really don't need to order more right now. I, I'm going to skip the Sassy Girl Roma pre-orders 
as hard as that is for me, I have so much Sassy Girl aroma, and the only thing I'll let myself buy from Sassy Girl is the perfumes, or a loaf if it's a scent that I absolutely love and I ran out of. That's the rule I'm setting for myself, but like, I, I have so much wax that I really want to get through, and I don't want to throw it away because it lost its scent. That absolutely defeats the whole entire purpose of melting, and that's just not fun for me. But anyway, those are all my disclaimers. Oh, and Candles from the Keeping Room. The reason why she's retiring. I missed her last opening, and it it pained me so much because I just totally forgot. I got so sidetracked. And by the time I went on there, it was gone, and I was devastated. So I did place an order this last one. I'll continue to place them and support Carol. Love her business. I, I don't want to get too much into that because that'll be Monday's video. But we're six minutes in, and I haven't even dove into this basket. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting right from the top, I have a loaf from Destination Wax in Strawberry Seeds. You guys... This is Sweet and Zesty Strawberry. This was poured September 17th, 2021. I have a backup loaf of this as well. I have a box that I have all my Destination Wax loaves in. And there were a handful, as you can see, that did not fit in the box. And I'm like, you know what? I'm pulling some, I'm chopping some, and I'm melting some. Because I love Destination Wax, and I know that if I don't melt it, I'll forget about it and I want to use it and I want to enjoy it. So I picked up a couple that I have doubles of, chopped them up, and decided to melt them. Now in my main space, if I melted these in my main space, I get two different uses out of a Destination Wax loaf. Now that's my living room, my kitchen, and my dining room. I cut a loaf in half and then I cut each half in typically half or in thirds and then each section in thirds. So I get 16 or uh, 16 pieces something like that like 16 maybe even more I don't know I I don't know the entire math but I basically cut half thirds and then thirds so I cut it into a lot of pieces but I do tend to use a little bit more wax than normal you know in a warmer I just have so much but strawberry seeds you guys I would put these in in the morning and I would go to work come home, smell it, go to bed, wake up, smell it. It's lasted so long in my main space. And strawberry seeds from Destination Wax is so good. It's zesty strawberry. If you've never tried this scent, you have to. I'm so glad I have another loaf in the back up. This scent is exquisite. It's just the right amount of zesty, just the right amount of fruity strawberry. Oh, it's like a rich strawberry jam. I absolutely love this scent. We'll always repurchase it. It's it's just fantastic. Speaking of strawberry seeds, I did Quickie Wedding. And Quickie Wedding is fresh strawberry, strawberry seeds, and marshmallow fluff. Now, there's really no cakey note to this, but I think the fresh strawberry mixed with the strawberry seeds, mixed with the marshmallow, I don't want to say I like this more than strawberry seeds because I will say I alternated these. Not on the same day, but different days. I like strawberry seeds a little more. Not that I don't like Quickie Wedding, but it's a little bit more sweet. So if you like strawberry seeds, but it might be a little too zesty for you, give this a try. Because the marshmallow fluff adds this really rich sweetness. This almost reminds me of like a strawberry fruit dip that you would make in the summer. I really, really like it. Oh, let's take a moment. Lemon chiffon cake, aka the best lemon bakery scent I've ever smelled. And I mean that. This is lemon chiffon cake drizzled with lemon brown sugar and vanilla icing. This was poured November or December 5th. You guys, I, I don't know how to describe it other than it's the best lemon bakery I've ever smelled. You totally smell almost reminding me of a lemon coffee cake. There's no coffee, but the brown sugar, like almost like the streusel topping on a, on a cake. That's exactly what this smells like. Like a lemon coffee cake with that drizzle on top. 
fantastic. I actually don't have a backup loaf of this. Um, I have one breakaway bar and that's it. I love this scent. I definitely will be ordering more. I'm not ordering, well, by the time this goes up. Again, I did not order from the Destination Wax June 1st pre-order, but I will order this in the future because I absolutely love it and I don't want to be without it. Next, we have Palo Santo, one of my favorites. Warm and mellow Palo Santo wood, amber and soft musk, the Bath and Body Works type. And if you haven't tried Palo Santo, it's just, it's so good. It's creamy. It's calming. It's woody. I've described it a million times on my channel. I'll always say it's one of my favorites. It, almost, I want to say it's the best. It is so good. I did this in my bedroom some days. I did this in my main space some days. I did this in here some days. And every time I walk in the room, I'm just like, ah. It's calm. It's peace. I never want to not have Palo Santo in my life. It just brings me so much joy when I smell it. And then we have Destination Wax Coffee Espresso Macchiato. Now this is a very interesting coffee, you guys. Rich espresso steamed with a dash of steamed milk. Or sweetened with a dash of steamed milk. This smells like... A rich espresso with crema on top, and you just put the slightest bit of milk, and that's the only sweetness. It is a bitter coffee, but the steamed milk adds this just creaminess to it without being sweet. If you want a rich, robust coffee, Edda, I'm looking at you if you have not tried this coffee espresso macchiato. It is so good, and when you put it in the warmers, it transforms. This lasted almost two whole days in my warmers. It was so strong, not overwhelming. I did have a piece of furniture delivered, and I had this going. The delivery driver was like, did you just make coffee? I'm like, nope, that's the wax. It, it smells just like I have an espresso machine, and when you make a fresh brewed espresso, this is what that smells like. It's perfect to a T, exactly like it described. It's incredible. Now, into not so incredible, this is Lilacs and Lemonade from The Melted Moose. Performance-wise, incredible. I'm having great luck with The Melted Moose in my new space, but I don't love the fragrance. This is Powdery Lilacs and Pink Lemonade. It just doesn't smell like a lilac. Mm -mm. Like, lilacs to me, the fresh cut lilacs from Bath and Body Works, lilacs in a vase from Sassy Girl Aroma, those are really authentic, true lilac, at least to my nose. This, I'm getting like a lemonade, but it's very powdery and very floral, but almost more like white floral and not lilac. I don't know. I did not enjoy this. I did note a little bit of little bit of this in my old space and I had just enough to do one little shape and all my warmers in here and yeah like I said performance wise it was great I just did not care for the fragrance it was just a little too powdery for my nose moving on I'm just reaching in and going I have from Scentsy two clams in churro churro now I typically like to melt this with apple butter frosting I didn't have any of that so I just did I actually did a lot of this because I know the scent's pretty light I did three cubes in each of my warmers in this space and it was a very light fragrance for the day definitely like petered off towards the end of the day I like it I don't love it I don't have a Scentsy Club anymore. I just have so much wax. I, I, I can't be bothered. Even my Sweet Plum Pastry. I have like 35 bars. I'm sure it'll come back and I bring back my bar by that time and I'll stock up on more. But I just, I can't do a club right now. It's way too much wax. But I really like the fragrance. It really does smell like an authentic churro. I think this smells more authentic than vendor wax versions of churros. But... The performance just is not there for me. It's like a great yeasty cinnamon sugar bakery. I just don't get the performance from it. Like, I wish I did. 
Speaking of performance, Kahiko Hula from Sensi. Now, you're going to see a lot of Sensi in these baskets because my bars are sweaty and I keep my house super cold, like 63, 64 degrees all year. Yeah, I love it. Ice cold. And that, I thought, affected fragrance, but I'm getting great performance from my wax in most of the cases with the air on. So, yeah. But this scent, it's not a scent I love. I did this cube, I did four cubes in one warmer, four cubes in another, both Scentsy warmers in my bedroom. And this was before I had that hot plate. Yeah, it just did not perform really well for me. It's like a floral, fruity, tropical fragrance. It was a bring my bar, yeah, I did not care for this one. I guess I'm just going right in with the Scentsy. I thought I had two clams of this. I might, oh, I think it's actually right here. Yep, Radiator Springs from the Cars Collection. Now this is supposed to be like a cherry limeade type of fragrance. And I heard a lot of people say the performance was not that great on this one either. And I agree, I mean, there's literally oils in the clam, but it just did not perform. It does smell like cherry limeade. I've said before, I don't love cherry, but blended with lemonade or blended with limeade, I actually can tolerate it. And I could tolerate this because it was literally like a 3 out of 10. And I did two full clams in this room, and I didn't get anything. I mean, look at the oils in here. There's a ton of oils. I just did not get the performance like I wish I did. Now, performance that I did get, I did this in my living room, my main space, Johnny Appleseed. I love this apple fragrance. I go between this and a peeling apple, alternating on which apple I like best from Scentsy, but I do really like the Johnny Appleseed. It is a very crisp red apple, but there's a little bit of pear in there, and you can smell it like a very crisp pear, like the um, Harry and David gold wrapped pears. It's a really pretty fragrance. I ordered this in um, floor cleaner or in like all purpose cleaner concentrate and I also ordered this in dish deter, dish dish soap. So excited to get that. I'll do a Scentsy haul when I get those. No bars in that haul. Just like cleaning stuff and like a couple warmers and stuff. Summer rain. Had to get that. But yeah, I really like Johnny Appleseed. I have a ton of bars of this and my stash. Working through them. They also got sweaty. This one also had great performance. Continuing with Scentsy, I have Be Fabulous. And I actually have this going in this room right now. Four warmers, two cubes in each. I'm getting a really good performance from this one. This is like a zesty grapefruit floral. I'm not exactly sure of the notes off the top of my head. But yeah, it's like a it's like a grapefruit zesty floral. I do enjoy this one. I don't need to repurchase it, but it's nice. Like I said, I'm just trying to get through my bars. It's like 150,000 degrees outside. So all the, all the scents I have going right now are like very, very summer. I have summer or strawberry seeds in my main space. I have this in here and then I'll talk about what I have in my bedroom coming up wherever it is in here. All right, I have a cuttable from Candles from the Keeping Room. She offers these cuttables as like little free gifts in your sample bag. And mine was in lemon curd filled balm. I cut this in half. I did this in a tea light warmer and I actually did it in my Scentsy Acute Copper Warmer in my bedroom yesterday. I got such good performance from this. It is a very good lemon curd fragrance. One thing with candles from the keeping room, I don't recommend a lot of lower wattage warmers, especially Scentsy warmers. The acute copper, for some reason, that warmer performs anything. I mean, this melted fine in there. It's just such a great warmer. But tea lights, hot plates, her wax is 100% paraffin. So what you're smelling on cold is great, but paraffin, one, it lasts a really long time, has an amazing shelf life. I'm talking years. And her wax just really transforms when it hits the warmer. So yeah, really, really like that one. I have a few Rose Girls. Um, I'm working through my Rose Girls stash. As you know, I did not get performance from Rose Girls in my old home. I'm having better luck in this home. Not all of it, but I'm definitely having better luck. This is from the Coffee Sampler. There were two little chunks. So because I have two warmers in my bedroom, I'm going to use these, a couple of them every week, to 
work through my stash and pop one in one warmer, one in the other. This was Starbeans Cafe Bread. This went the entire day, you guys. 10 out of 10 strength. This, oh yeah, it's a rich, rich coffee bread scent. And I love bready scents. I always say they come alive in the warmer whenever you melt them. And this is to die for. I love the richness of the coffee. I love the yeastiness of the bread. It's a really, really, really good fragrance. Now this one was a little bit of a womp womp. This is Raspberry Mocha Rice Krispie Treats. I was talking to Lexi and she also said like some Rice Krispie blend oils don't always give the best performance. And I can see that. It's a really nice raspberry oil, but I popped them in my warmers and I really did not get much. As far as raspberry mocha goes, I didn't really smell much chocolate even from the beginning. I did two mini muffins cut into pieces in my main space in blue raspberry lime cotton candy. These I got in August of last year. Nothing. I really didn't get anything from this either. Blue raspberry, lime, and cotton candy. But I also heard from people like her muffins don't perform the best. I have so many mini melters. I'm going to do a whole week of Rose Girls coming up to really see the performance. But like I said, not the best of these mini melters. Oh, I did a scent shot from Candles by Victoria. I have a few of these scattered in here in Rock That Vanilla. I have a tea light warmer in my bathroom, and I pop one of these in, and I just let it go. And Rock That Vanilla is a dupe of American Cream from Lush, so it's like a creamy strawberry vanilla scent. I really like this scent, and it performed really well. Her stuff always performs well for me, though. Oh, I have another Scentsy bar. This is in Strawberry Rose. Love this fragrance. You get a rich strawberry. I definitely don't think it's super, super rosy, but that's to my nose. I don't think it's like powdery floral. Almost reminds me of like a rose jam, sort of like a little bit of a rich sweet rose mixed with strawberry. I have a couple more bars of that. I really do enjoy it. Candles I'm going to save for the end. I have a few of those. Oh, I have another. Oh. Vanilla Suede. This I actually brought from my old house. I only had two cubes of this. I did this next to my bed one night before bed just to, just to get rid of it. The clam's broken and everything. It's okay. It is like a suede definitely like a masculine fragrance. I, I fell asleep. I don't really remember it. Wow, I have a lot. This is from VCS. I did a whole VCS day. This is Anna Banana. It was a little rose and I did it in my bedroom. Love this. This is sweet churned banana ice cream. This is such a good banana, you guys. Mmm. Super sweet, rich vanilla banana. Like, I always think when you add banana and ice cream together, you can never go wrong. Mm. I did a mini melter in my main space from Rose Girls in Dutch Apple Cookie Land. Really, really liked this. This was a very rich, deep apple, and that Cookie Land oil is so yummy. It's like a salty pretzel cookie scent mixed with a rich caramel apple. I really, really liked this one. That was a good performance. So, like I said, I had a good luck with that mini melter in my space. The Thing. This is from Super Tarts. This is cornbread, peach, and vanilla ice cream. I did one cube of each in my main space, or in this space. Didn't get great luck from it. And I know people love... Oh, this smells so plasticky. Um... I know people have really good luck with her cornbread and really like it. I just did not get the performance from this. I liked the scent, like peachy cornbread. It was really, really yummy, but it really did not throw for me in my space. I did a sample of Island Sunset from Destination Wax in my bathroom. This threw in my bathroom, in my laundry room, out to my main space. It's a dupe for Yankee Candles Black Coconut. Don't love the fragrance. I just got it in a sample. It's definitely like a super summery coconut. But boy, did that sucker throw. Ugh. Lurid Apothecary Ravenclaw, Palo Santo, Salty Sierra, Toasted Marshmallow, and Cream. I got suckered into ordering from her custom and was not thrilled with the customs. Didn't even film it. Didn't have no desire to even melt it. Um, and didn't get any performance from this either. That was just like trying to be. Today's October 3rd. It was okay. But again, 
I didn't get any performance from it, and I've actually heard from a lot of people, you don't really get performance from Lurid. Her stuff just doesn't really throw that well, so there's, there's some wasted wax on my shelf, but you live and you learn, right? Next is the Melted Moose. This is Carnival Confection, Funnel Cake, Cotton Candy, and Fried Ice Cream. Oh, and Lurid closed her business, so it's not like she's even around anywhere. Anyway, this is Carnival Confection, Funnel Cake, Cotton Candy, and Fried Ice Cream. Loved this. This was a souffle. Oh, this was so good. The funnel cake was not a spicy funnel cake. It was a really rich, decadent bakery funnel cake with the vanilla ice cream and the cotton candy. It was really, really sweet. A very different take on Circus Concession. I know this says Carnival Confection, so it's not the same scent, but it was really, really good. Speaking of Melted Moose and really good, I did a scent shot in banana cream pie in my bedroom. I cut this in half one day. The first day was really hot last week. Oh, this smells so good. It smelled like you walked into a pie fact, not, not a pie factory, but could be a pie factory, like a pie a bakery, and they had in their case banana cream pies. This scent was so incredible. I love it. It was like a cold like chilled all day in the in the chiller in the chiller in the fridge whatever you call it and you took it out and you sliced that banana cream pie rich decadent pie crust amazing filling a banana cream pie that actually has chunks of banana in the filling absolutely that was incredible I did from L3, I have so much L3 to get through. These were a four pack of fluted tarts I did in this room, cut in half. Uh, I'm the Oogie Boogie Man, fluffy key lime cupcakes with buttercream whipped topping and candied limes. This smelled like a key lime pie fragrance. Like a zesty lime bakery. It was okay, I would not repurchase that one. Same with this, this was a sample. I did not get any performance from this one. This is from L3. This is Cherry Slushy. I did this in my bathroom. I don't love cherry scents, so I was just like, let me just get rid of it. I didn't really get much from it. <gasps> Circus Bread from The Bathing Garden. I ordered so many of these, like so, so many. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna melt this. I'm gonna love it in the sample. I can't say I love it. I can't say I don't love it. I put this in my bathroom. I know, crazy. It's not a bathroom scent, but I only had a little sample. I have clams, but they're all tucked away to cure. And I'm like, I'm just gonna try it. Put it in my bathroom, fell asleep. Didn't even get to smell it. I literally fell asleep and I was super sad about it because I'm like, I wanted to smell the circus bread. And the next morning I woke up and I'm like, tea lights out, don't smell anything, so. I'll just smell a clam. I might take out because I want to smell it. Anyway, from VCS, I did a souffle in Shirley Temple, which is cherry fizzy pops. Again, don't love cherry, but when it's blended with something like fizzy pop, lemonade, lime, I really like it. And I really liked this. And this threw so well in my main space. I did a souffle cut into little pieces. So good. So yummy. You get the cherry. You get the fizzy pop, like lemon lime fizzy pop. So, so, so good. Jaws Eucalyptus from Super Tarts. I did this one in my bedroom. I didn't get much from it. When I hear eucalyptus, I think super strong, super stringent, like really like wake you up, light you up eucalyptus. And I really didn't get that. I just got a very mellow down Jaws in my warmers for the whole day, like a very fresh, Jaws fragrance. So I was kind of disappointed. I want to get through these scent shots just because they take up a lot of space and her clams are super organized in my collection and I just have like the scent shots thrown on top. So trying to work through at least like one a week in my bedroom just to get through it. But yeah, not a repurchase. Don't love the Jaws eucalyptus. We'll see the end of my bin. There's still a lot in here. This is Neroli Orange Blossom from the Bathing Garden. I have this going in my bedroom right now. I have one half. I cut it in half. It was like one of her circles. One in my tea light and one half in my Scentsy Warmer. I love this. When I worked at Lush, I was always told that Neroli was a natural serotonin booster. Like make you happy. All that. And... I've just, I love it. I love it so much. It's 
very bright, very uplifting, very different from what I normally melt. You definitely get the neroli. It's very floral, but I, I don't really know how to describe neroli other than it's very uplifting and bright. And let me tell you, this sucker, I'm sitting in here and I can smell it in my bedroom, in this room. It's, I mean, it's only across the hall, but still, I can really get a strong throat from that. Really impressed. Ooh, peanut butter jelly time from VCS. I did that in this room. Creamy peanut butter swirled with fresh picked strawberry jam. So good. I love Kirby's peanut butter. I love her strawberry. I mean, I just love her, but this is so good. It's a creamy peanut butter mixed with a delicious strawberry jam. No like bready note in here, but I really, really enjoyed it. I melted that in this room. Marvel Nine Realms. Oh, I did this, I think. I don't even remember when I did this. I might have done this when I first moved in and I didn't have all my warmers set up just because it was like leaking. I don't remember anything about that one. Just to be honest. Ooh. I did oodles of orange in here. I did like one cube or one clam, you know, separated. Really like this. Very, very bright citrusy orange. Definitely like another serotonin booster. Really makes you feel happy. I have a couple more bars of this. Really liked it. It's really good for like a hot summer day. This is the first Scentsy that I did in this new apartment. I did white tea and cactus. I wanted something just clean, but a little different. I love white tea and cactus. It's just the right amount of sweet from like that cactus water, the brightness and the calmingness of the white tea. Oh, this is so pretty. I really like it and it performs. I did that. I did one bar in this space and one bar in the living room and it just smelled so good the entire day. It was a day that I was like in and out of the house a lot, bringing furniture up, shopping, coming back. So yeah, really, really, really impressed with that. Ooh, I did a Sassy Girl Aroma Brittle. This is in She's a Little Mermaid. Mac Apple, Cotton Candy, Crisp Ozone, Salty Sea Spray, Seaweed, Sun Weather, Driftwood, and Whipped Cream. And this one, so yummy. This was like a shattered brittle that I just wanted to melt and use up. I got this in January. This is really nice. You definitely get the salty sea air, that like aquatic, oceanic, like uh, beachy type of scent mixed with the Mac Apple. Really nice and it made gorgeous, gorgeous packaging or um, swirls in my warmers. Really like that one. I did this mini muffin. Now this I actually did bring with me from the old place. I did half of it there and I did the rest here. This is in Jacuzzi Bubbles. You guys, if she offers this in a brittle, Jacuzzi Bubbles is incredible. This is a hot bath filled with fragrant bubbly soap and soft florals with a creamy background. This smells, and I will say it, like walking into the Sephora perfume section. Now this is a dupe for Replica's bubble bath, but in my opinion, it smells like you walked into the Sephora perfume section. So clean. I know that might be a turn off for a lot of people, but let me tell you, I love this. It performed so well in this mini muffin. I would totally repurchase that. Lurid Brain Freeze, Blue Raspberry Slushy, Lemon Fizz, and Rock Candy. I did this in a tea lady in my bathroom. I didn't get anything from it. Pumpkin Crunch Cake from Candles by Victoria. Oh, this is nice. I don't know why I did pumpkin. I did a pumpkin a couple days just because I love fall and I'm craving it. This is definitely like a really rich, moist pumpkin cake with that streusel topping, almost like lemon chiffon cake I was talking about. Like a really rich pumpkin bakery. Oh, with that streusel topping. Love, performed great. Pink Bubblegum Crush, also from Candles by Victoria. I did this one in my kitchen. Love. This is a dupe for Candy Fluff from Lush. It's not Snow Fairy. They're different scents. Candy Fluff, you really get that like powdery bath bomb scent mixed with candy floss. So yummy. I've always loved that scent and will always repurchase it, and she just does it best. I actually have it in a big two-wick candle from her that I want to burn. 
Next, sandalwood and leather. I've really been into leather fragrances lately, especially for the bedroom. I don't know, it's just, it's really, it's masculine. It's really just comforting. I really, really like it. And this sandalwood and leather was really nice. Emphasis on the leather, 100%. So it's just like you walked into a tackle shop and, oh yeah, like a brand new leather pair of shoes, 100%. Oh, Birds of Paradise from Candles by Victoria. Did not care for this. This is like a creamy, creamy strawberry, but the creaminess like turns my stomach. I was not a fan of that one. Next, Chocolate Orange from Candles by Victoria. This really, really shocked and surprised me, I'll tell you that, because chocolate I'm okay with in wax. Orange, take it or leave it. Like, I don't mind it, but I don't go out of my way or seek out orange scents. This was incredible. This smells like you walk into a gourmet chocolatier. I would say Godiva, but they're out of business now, so think of another one. And it just, it's rich. The chocolate's great. The orange made it like zesty and creamy. It was so, so good. I did from VCS Aunt Nellie's Saturday Night Square Dancing. This scent knocked me off my socks. This is lemon sugar bundt cake, rich vanilla cupcakes, strawberry pound cake, and zucchini bread. I 100% pick up on that zucchini bread, what Kirby's famous for. She has some of the best zucchini bread. Love how creamy and decadent it is. But with a lemon bakery, a little bit of strawberry pound cake, I don't pick out the vanilla cupcakes, but I'm sure that just makes it even more creamy. This was so yummy. Strawberry pound cake, lemon bundt cake, and zucchini bread. It was fabulous. I did a little pea, a little butt from the sampler, the Hufflepuff sampler from L3. Pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, Hufflepuff. And um, Hufflepuff is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. I'm not having good luck with L3 in this new space, you guys. I also don't know if it's just because it's an older wax. Like, this is from August of last year, and I've heard that L3, you need to use it up. So I'm not really sure, but I did this in this space, and I really didn't get anything from it, which makes me pretty sad, but we'll see. I did a sample of Oud Wood from Destination Wax. This is sweet, warm, and woodsy. Sandalwood, Oud, Cedar, Frankincense, and Iris, inspired by Lush Oud Heart. I'm not sure what that one is. I did this in my bathroom, and it was okay. It was not a repurchase. It was like a spicy, woody fragrance. I'm like leaning in here now. Ooh, Destiny... Mm. Destination Wax Orange Fruit Loops. This is Fruit Loop Cereal with Extra Orange Loops. This was really yummy. You definitely got Fruit Loops, but you got that zestiness of the orange mixed with like the powderiness of the cereal. I really, really liked that one. Next I have from Teddy B's. I melted this on the day of her pre-order in my bedroom in a tea light, just a small one, just so I could see what it was like. It wasn't offered or anything. I just felt like melting Teddy Bees. This is Nude Beach. And this is nice. I would totally repurchase this. Now, totally going off of what I smell. I smell like coconut body care and like cocoa butter cashmere. I've never melted cocoa butter cashmere. At least I don't think so. Unless this is it. But I really like it. I really like it. I like the creaminess of it. I would totally purchase Nude Beach if it's offered. Really, really liked that one. And then, oh, no, I was going to say the last bit of wax, but it's not. Ooh, I did Smoked Blackberry from Melted Moose in my bedroom. I have this in a mini loaf from my pre-order, or from my custom, Love. This is Fresh Blackberry, Sage, Bonfire Bliss, and Palo Santo. This is so different. I immediately pick up on blackberry and sage. You get the green earthiness from the sage, but mixed with the blackberry and the palo, really, really, really interesting. Bonfire Bliss, mm, I don't get a ton of that, but I really like that combination. It was really, really good. And then I have Swedish Dream Salt from Destination Wax. Salty Sea Breeze, Cucumber, Oak Moss, Lavender, Balsam, and Lime. Loved this. Really liked this in the bathroom. It definitely smelled like you were in like a 10-star 
10 star resort, five star resort, and you walk into the bathroom and they had these like hot steam towels ready for you after your shower. That was, it was incredible. It was total repurchase. I would definitely buy that one in a loaf. I really liked it. And then last but not least for the wax is from Rose Girls. This is Cotton Candy Clothes on the Line. And I believe I got this as a sample in a Kahuna box. I really like this. I know Natalie absolutely loved this too. It's really good. It's funny because you get the cleanness of the laundry from the clothes on the line, but mixed with that super sweet like candiness of the cotton candy, really, really good. I would totally get a mini melter bag of this. Really, really, really enjoyed that. Not overly sweet though. It's funny how I said before when you mix like cotton candy and laundry, it's kind of like a it just doesn't make sense because it's like cotton candy, super, super sweet, sticky, laundry, super clean, but they mix and they blend so well together. Now, oh, I was going to say that's all my wax, but I did work on, and I don't typically keep things that I work on in here. I don't know why I did that with this. This is from Candles by Victoria. This is her Scoops and Granny's Pie Crust. The best pie crust scent I've ever smelled. If you order one thing from Candles by Victoria, it's Granny's Pie Crust. It's the best. It's buttery, rich, flaky pie crust. I've never smelled a pie crust scent quite like this. It's incredible. Moving on with the candles. I only have four candles here that I finished. I am working on candles all the time, but I only finished four. A couple were wins, a couple were not wins. This was not a win. This is Root Candle in English Lavender. I don't know why, but the root candles are just not performing for me lately. I have a couple more left and then I'm done. They just, the burn is so slow on them and it just, it, they never really pull out until like the next burn. I, I'm just not a fan and they also really don't throw. This was a weird lavender, it was like a super herbal lavender, but would not, would not repurchase. My favorite coconut cream pie from Bath & Body Works. I have a couple of these candles. It's one of the best coconut cream pie fragrances I've ever smelled. I probably should send a candle to Julie from Sassy Girl Aroma so she can dupe this because it is the best. Toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. Yes, yes, yes. The scent, 10 out of 10. So good. The toasted coconut with the caramel custard. You really get the custard note in here. That's what I find out, find stands out the most. The custard is super rich and decadent while the flaky pie crust and the toasted coconut, fabulous. The burn on this one, not so much. It definitely left a lot of residue. It was a very low burn right from the beginning was not a great performance. This is the one from this year. I do have a couple from last year that I'm going to try to burn, but was not a fan of the burn, but loved the scent. Palo Santo. Always, this was, I wanted to like cleanse the house whenever I first moved in. I know that sounds cheesy, but instead of saging the house, I wanted to get good energy and burn a Palo Santo candle. So I burned this like every single day in my living room just to like clean it out and air it out and I love this. Again, this is the infamous Bath & Body Works Palo Santo. So it's Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk. So it's definitely a lot more than just plain Palo, but oh, it's so good. Always would repurchase it. If you haven't tried this, definitely give it a try. But if you don't like that scent, don't write off Palo Santo because there's a lot of other notes in there besides Palo. Now, this itty bitty teeny little baby candle, this was a free goodie from Diptyque when I placed an order, and this is in a hazel tree, or Narguli, whatever, how it says in French. This little candle in the bathroom filled the entire space. I'm telling you, I need to do a lot more luxury candle videos on here. I have I have a loft up here, and literally this entire side is all Diptyque and high-end candles. Luxury candles just perform so much better than like Bath & Body Works candles. I know they're more expensive. You get the quality of a Diptyque candle for $68 versus a $20 Bath & Body Works candle. It just, it's amazing. The scent, incredible. It smells like a roasted, toasted hazelnut tree. 
and like I said, it performed all the way down. I burned it for like two straight days and it was gone, but while I had it burning, it was incredible. Love this. Will always purchase Dipsy Candles. And that was a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed. I melted through so much lately. I do want to start getting on like a regular kick of this, doing a basket, doing an empties, just following up and doing things like that again. Once I've established a routine here, can't wait. But anyway, let me know what you guys melted down below. What are you loving? What are you not loving? I love it all. If you're a new YouTuber, I'd love to watch you subscribe, build this community, and fill it with positivity again. Love positivity up here. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Be kind. Remember, you matter. Make it a better world. I love you guys so much. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.